Hey guys, Mike St. Pierre here. I just want to give you a first look at the new Nosby Teams. I'm using Nosby Teams in Fluid App. Uh, right now, they just released it yesterday, Friday, or rather Thursday, March 19th, 2020. Pretty exciting. This is their second app. You're probably familiar with Nosby for individuals. Now this is Nosby Teams, really more for small businesses or even medium-sized businesses. Um, and it's kind of exciting. This has been in the works for quite some time and I think the team has done a great job um, with some areas for improvement, of course, but I think overall they've done a good job. So, um, first of all, let me just say there are things that you don't get with an app and then there are things that you do. So you don't get with this particular app, uh, you do get an iOS app, you do get uh, an Android app, you do get a web application, but you don't get uh, a native Mac app or a native Windows app. So that's what it is. I'm sure they're working on it. They're a great team. You don't get Kanban boards, you don't get Gantt charts, uh, you don't get um, hill measurements. Um, this is what you have. You don't get uh, customizable backgrounds, things like that. What do you get? You get an excellent company with rock solid security, uh, a real value system that they live by, um, you get a very fast sync. You get a CEO who really listens to his users. Um, so you do get a lot. And I think with any app, you always want to ask yourself, um, do I trust this application? Do I trust this company? And do I believe that they're going to make things better in the future? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So with that said, let me show you a few things. So over on the left here, you see these titles, which are new priority incoming single task and activity. I haven't played with this for too long. I was in the beta and then just looked at it yesterday. So activity is kind of just a timeline of things that are happening. Single task is very nice uh, in that uh, it just gives you the ability to put in, you know, think of it as a scratch pad, you know, call Joe, call Lou, um, write the report, etc. Okay. And then from this, as in any application like this, you can do a number of things. You can delegate it. You can um, put it into a calendar. You can star it. And when you star it, that then shifts it also into your priority. Okay. Uh, so which is nice. So priority is basically like these are your hot things, really important. Incoming are things that either are due today or things that have been given to you. Activity is again that pro process. And then single task, these are like your scratch pad. Okay, so um, let's look inside of an individual task like this, the send the weekly update. You can see over here, um, I can make all kinds of changes. If I had sections in here, I could assign it. I could uh, be reminded of it. And then over here in the comments section, uh, article here, article there. Uh, just like in the old Nosby, I can have that as a checklist, uh, bulleted items, numbered. I can also add an attachment, a photo, a doc, a whatever, okay? And the way I then send a comment in is through this little guy over here, okay? Um, so that's pretty standard. And you can see while it looks, I think, super um, utilitarian uh, in this basic format, when you start to open up individual tasks, that's when you start to see, uh, I think this nice three panel display and it really looks sharp. Okay. So over here, continuing on the left, I have these different uh, projects that I can, um, enter in there. I'm not exactly sure why this arrow doesn't, um, shrink, but rather it just pulls me over into another thing. I would prefer for it to shrink. But I will show you this, this new uh, section heading here. So you can see Q1, uh, Q2, Q3. Now, I'm sure as this develops, you're going to be able to drag these tasks into one of the different sections. That seems very commonsensical, but right now you can't do that. The other nice thing is you can have a project purpose in here. And so uh, let's say I was adding a new person to my team or to a particular project. I could explain a little bit there. I think that's nice. Uh, I'm not sure why I have a lock feature here, maybe because it's not shared with someone else, but um, that needs a little bit of explanation. I can end the project. I can see what, I can also change the colors. I think that's very nice. That's where the lock feature is. Again, I'm not too sure why, but I'm sure they will let us know. And I can also favorite it or pin it if you're familiar with Todoist. And then that opens up this new possibility over here of favorites. Pretty cool, I like that. Over here I have tags. Again, I would prefer for this to be a drop down, but rather it's a pull over. 
and let's see if I can tag uh, ah, so I don't have anything tagged in travel um, and could I pin that yep I could favorite that too can I favorite that yeah but why that doesn't show up over here on the left I'm not too sure why it'd be nice to favorite projects or tags um, anyways it is what it is I can add a new tag and then smart list over here next 30 days it would be awesome to uh, be able to create smart lists I'm sure that's something that they're working on um, it would be awesome to have keyboard shortcuts out of the gate that would be fantastic Anyways, you get a lot here. I think Nosby Teams has a bright future and that's because I trust the company. So if there's a few things that you don't see here right from launch day, well, you have to say to yourself, do I trust that they're going to work on it as they go? Hope you found this helpful. Very short, quick 24 hours with Nosby Teams. I hope you like it. Make sure if you found this video to be something that adds some value to your workflow and to your everyday life, make sure you subscribe to the channel and of course, hit the like button. All right, I'm Mike St. Pierre. I'll see you next time.